Hi guys, this is Dave and Lance from Homegrown Herbs. Uh, got to do a quite good surprise today. Um, we went away yesterday, just overnight for the caravan for a bit of a getaway. Uh, we did sort of see a pippin before we went. Um, one little head was hanging out before we went. So, oh, and it's going to make another appearance now. That was the very first one to pip. <clears throat> we also, as, as you can see, have three more that have now pipped. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start to cut those ones open so you can see what's in there. And then once we've done that, we will go ahead and cut the other three. Okay. Right, so popping back in just a minute. Boop, boop. There we go. No, you just want a small circle. No, no, that's straight. Oh, yeah. Like... Run across the top now. What? Go on. You do, you do the first one. Show me how it's done. Yeah. So. Mr. Boss <laughs> Going straight across the top, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what you want to make sure is when you're doing it, you're not you're going not to catch in. a snake. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you're actually pulling against the roof. Yeah, okay. okay. So, as we know, that one, then you cut round it. It's just a normal, like, eh? yeah. would it be helpful for anything, or is it just normal? It's 66% possible, I tell you. So, yeah. I know this. There we go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that little one there is just a normal, as you can see. You've got a little bit of brightness yeah. to it Yeah, so. Probably just how it is. And that one, yeah. Little tiny snips across so, to that yeah. line, yeah. Just make sure the snips are very small. So and you're pulling it. against the roof, not downwards. Upwards. Upwards. Like Put the scissors down. <laughs> Little tidy snips. And pull it up towards the roof so you know where those parts are. That's I'm it. doing this. Okay, middle there. Okay, I'm just trying to flip that one. Let's have a look. And that looks oh, like a good gorgeous. old bit of a banana to me. Might even. That's a very nice banana. Um, Let's cut it a bit more open. No. It's enough. Yeah. I'm tempted to say this might be a retained sperm from that one from last year's clutch. Might even have a bit of summer tails in here. So there's no eyelids at all, but we'll have a look anyway. Yeah, uh, we'll do you want to do this grows. one next? Just That one should be a simple one right the way across. Some from here. We'll just snip it across there. Look where the two cut some already, where he's done there it. We there you go. So, so what we got here? Banana. There's a banana, is that yeah. what we're saying? Let's say that. Let's cut it. Uh, let's have a look. Just take that snip across there where he's already ripped it to pieces. There we go, yeah. That's yeah, another, definitely. Another little banana. It's a nice big fatty, that one is. Mm -hmm. Right, do you want to snip this one right the way across again? Yeah. Don't forget, pull the shell upwards so you're not cutting into the snake at all. Yeah. We do use round head scissors as well, so when we're poking him, we're not actually poking the snake. Um, just that I just think it's a safer option. Okay. What are the legs? No, 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 not down. Hold up, that's it. That's it. There you go. Right, so, so what we got here? <laughs> we are smashing the odds with our third banana. Fingers crossed, and we are awesome. the odds. Right, I shall do the cuts for the plain ones now because you never know. Okay, we're in. Bit of blood in that one. Yeah, blood in that. No way, we are absolutely smashing the odds. That is uh -huh. our fourth banana. Absolutely I'm beautiful. Like Absolutely amazing. Oh, this one's going to be a bit of a, a oh, juicy one. Do you want to not pinch it for you? No, no. no. You got it, you got it. You're going to pop this one. Oh, yeah, it's going to pop up. There yeah. we go. Right across the top. Okay. 
It had to be another normal, didn't it? Yeah, right. that's it has to be one more normal, okay. just to make it fair. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think now we'll go across here. Chicken gully? Yeah. Mm. This is a big chunky one. I will let you know, guys, this is actually day 55. Now, I've found with ours, season after season, ours never go past 55 days. Um, I don't think we've ever had a clutch go past 55 days, um, which is weird, but I don't know whether our incubators are doing really well and they're set perfect, but we seem to never go above that 55 days. Or below. Or below. Well, yeah. Oh, my God. No. We have smashed the odds yet again. So we've only got two normals. Two normals and one, four. two, three, four, five bananas. Oh, right. Did we have seven eggs? Oh, that oh. is absolutely awesome. So, guys, I am well and truly over the moon with that. Um, we have well and truly obliterated the odds. I am... I can't, words don't pronounce how over the moon I am. Um, to have five bananas out of a seven-egg clutch is absolutely amazing. I am absolutely over the moon with those absolutely over the moon so guys we'll get these chucked back in the incubator get them nice and warm and let them come out and then once they're out in a couple of days we'll do a nice clean up video so as always guys take care keep smiling and let's teach, teach not, not preach, preach.